Hi, I'm Paul and in today's video, I'm upgrading my daily note template using the powerful modal forms community plugin. I'll share my updated template and show you how to easily implement something similar in your own Obsidian Vault. If you're an Obsidian user looking to level up your journaling workflow, this video is for you. Join me as we make this year the most reflective year yet. Before we get started, if you haven't already, be sure to download my free starter kit vault from my Ko-Fi page so you can follow along with the video. Reviewing my daily note template. When we begin a new year, it's good to reflect on the previous year. So as part of this review process, I was doing some thinking about my daily journal. If we come into my daily journal, I was finding last year that I wasn't keen on filling out all the fields listed here. So you can see I've got quite a few fields to fill out each day. And I found this to be a little bit of a to-do list which deterred me from filling out the journal. So in today's video, I'm going to review my daily note journal template and make a few tweaks to encourage myself to fill out my journal more often in 2025. Showcasing the daily note template. We'll start by doing a quick daily journal template tour. We click on today's date. We create our new note. Then the note is created. We can see here we have our meta details pulling in the date, week, month, quarter, and the year. We have our habit tracker where we can turn on our habits for the day and that goes and sets it over in our YAML property. We can enter what we're learning, our focus, our overall mood, today's highlight, and then we have a whole collection of reflection notes. So there's quite a few here. And this is more to give you an idea of what's possible. Got what caught my interest, anything you need to get off your mind, what excited me today, what went right today, what went wrong today, what drained me of energy, what did I learn and work on, what are three quick things I'm grateful for, what ideas did I discover or have, how do I plan to have a better tomorrow. Then you've got files created today as well as files modified today with a little navigation to yesterday and tomorrow. And then some action items down the bottom, which can be anything of your choice. So if we open up the Cycles and Reviews dashboard and jump into the daily journal, we can see we have our select month to filter, and then we have our daily note entries listed here. And we can change this start of view query to whatever we would like to display on our review page. Overview of community plugin settings. So you've got a couple of options when you set up a daily note. You can either use the daily notes core plugin and simply add your date format, the file location and your template location. There's also an option to open the daily note on startup. The other option is to download a community plugin such as periodic notes. This will handle your daily note format, template and folder as well. And if you pair that up with the calendar plugin, then you can quickly get a calendar widget down the bottom right hand side where you can click on the day to generate the daily note. There is a relatively new community plugin called Daily Notes Calendar, which is quite similar to the Periodic Notes plugin. Keep this one on your watch list. New modal form daily note template. Last year, I discovered a new exciting community plugin called Modal Forms by Daniello Rodriguez. So this community plugin presents a modal form before we enter our data into our Obsidian template. So my thinking was I create a modal form to ask myself the three most important questions for the day. That way, I am encouraged to enter my daily note journal every day. And if I miss some fields, it's not the end of the world. I've still captured the three most important points. That's what we're going to look at now. So we'll go ahead and install the modal forms plugin. I'll go ahead and enable and then we'll jump into the options. So I'm going to change my editor position to the main view. Now we have the modal forms plugin installed. Let's go into the toolkit, make a copy 
copy of the current daily journal template. This is just so I've got something to revert back to if I'm not happy with my changes. So I'll open up the daily journal template. I've got my habit tracker here, which I fill out. So I'm happy to keep that one. I want to condense my input fields down. So learning, focus, overall mood. What was today's highlight? Then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got ten other fields that I have to fill out. Let's see how we can improve this. So I think for this learning one, I'll make this one. What did I learn or work on? I also want to give myself a bit more space. So we'll change the input field to a text area. The next one will be what is your focus today? I think mood's important. So we'll just make that a question as well. What's your overall mood? Now, what was today's highlight is similar to focus. So I think we could probably remove that one. So we'll remove daily highlight. So we have to remove it up here as well. So we'll remove from our YAML properties. Under daily reflection, I think the most important reflection is a brain dump. So I'm going to move this one above because I find I feel that one out more often than not. Then I'll delete it from there. I'm just going to improve this formatting to a H5. What caught your interest today? It could still be good. So we'll keep that one. What excited me is similar to what caught my interest. So I think that's redundant. So let's remove daily excitement. What went right, what went wrong? Well, that can be talked about in the brain dump. So I don't think that's really relevant to have a field for each to fill out. It, it could be, but I, I just think it's a little bit too much. So let's remove right and wrong. What drained me of energy is always an important one. What did I learn or work on? Well, now daily productivity is daily learning. So let's take that out completely. What am I grateful for? That's an important question to ask every day. And if you struggle to find three things, then you definitely need to uh, have a look at that one because it will help. What ideas did I discover or have? I think that's important, but I might change it to, did you discover any new ideas? And how do you plan to have a better tomorrow? It's always good when you refer back to the previous day. So I'll keep that one as well. I want to improve my where statements here, make them dynamic. So we'll change files created to today to a templater dynamic script. So we'll do that for files created today as well as files modified today. I want to set up my daily reminders for 2025. Keep them the same as my 2024 reminders. So the next step now is to add the modal form. We need to start with our syntax here, and the closing syntax there. We're calling the modal form with these two lines, and we're going to call a form called daily journal. And then we're going to output the entries as front matter string. So we need to choose our four most important YAML properties from here to have here as a YAML property. So I think the four most important are daily learning, what your focus is, what your mood is, and the daily brain dump. I reckon those, I, I believe those are the four that I, I want to capture daily. Uh, if I miss a, a few of the others, I don't mind as much, but I, I want to encourage my brain to fill out at least those four as a bare minimum. So that's why we're going to create this form. So control P, type in modal, bring up manage forms. We need to create a new form. Then we'll close this one to give ourselves a little bit more space. We can also make the right and left pane hidden to focus a little bit more. Now we need to call it this name here, which will be daily journal. So that will be our unique name and we'll give it a form title as daily journal or daily note. Let's add our first field. So the most important field I have found is daily brain dump. So that's going to be the first one. We'll just take the question here as the label. 
we'll make it a text area so we have enough space to type. Then we'll add our next field. Next one will be what our focus is. So let's put in daily focus. What is your focus today? Make that one a text area as well. And our next field, which will be daily learning. So what are we working and learning on? That's important. So let's pop that one in there. Make that one a text area as well. And then the last one will just be the daily overall mood. Now we need to add all our options. So this will take a little bit of time. So I'll just copy and paste them in there and speed up the video to save time. All right, so now I've got all my moods. So I'll save and close. So now I've got my modal form daily journal. We need to just open up and have a look at our field names. Because we've created a modal form for these four properties, we don't need them in our template because we're going to be outputting them here. So let's remove brain dump. Let's remove focus, learning, and overall mood. So now we have only five static fields that would be nice to fill out, but it's not you know, the end of the world if we don't. But then we have our four main fields that we really want to encourage our brain to fill out. So let's go test it, showcasing the new daily note template. So we have today's date. We click on today's date. We still have our prompt for a new daily note. So we hit create. But this time we are presented with a modal form, which gives us the three most important prompts for the day, as well as a question for our overall mood. So we can put in our overall mood, and then we simply just enter the three most important prompts. And that creates our daily note. So we still have our meta details here with our date information. We have a random note, then we have our habit tracker. We have condensed our reflection notes down. So we have, what did we learn or work on? What is your focus today? Your overall mood? What's on your mind? What caught your interest today? What drained you of energy? What are three things I'm grateful for? Did you discover any new ideas? How do you plan a better tomorrow? And then you still have the files created today, files modified today with the navigation yesterday and tomorrow with our action items and also a new call out reflection. How to apply the daily note template to your vault. So the first thing to do is to head over to my Ko-Fi page and download the free modal form daily note journal template. Open up your vault. I'll use the Obsidian Starter Vault free and this does apply to all the vaults on my Ko-Fi page. Extract the modal daily note template zip file that you've downloaded from Ko-Fi and inside there you'll see three files. There is an install instructions here if you don't want to follow on with the video. So what I want you to do is copy the modal form daily note journal template into your vault. I'll copy it into the starter vault free under toolkit and I'm just going to paste it in the templates folder. So now when I jump into the starter vault and navigate down to the toolkit, I can see my new modal form daily journal template. So I need to now check my community plugins. So jump into the settings, go up to community plugins and the plugins that we need to check for data view, periodic notes, quick add, templator, and we also need modal forms and meta bind. So the free kit doesn't contain those two plugins. So head up to community plugins, go browse, go do a search for meta bind, install and enable this community plugin, then go grab the modal forms community plugin install and enable. The next step is to go into your daily notes core plugin, ensure that your template is pointing to the new modal form daily note journal template and do the same for your periodic notes. So come into daily note template and point the template to your new modal form daily note journal template. 
The next thing I want you to do is go into modal forms and change the editor position to the main view. Then launch the command palette with control P, type in modal, select manage forms. And I want you to select the import form and then go back into the downloaded files and grab the file that says import daily modal form JSON data. And I just want you to control A, control C to copy and paste that into the form. Select import. Now it's not going to save until we select save and close. So you'll see the purple button hidden over to the right here, save and close. Now we have a daily journal modal form. You can go back into the editor and select preview to preview the modal form. So now we'll close everything. So we'll test it on the calendar plugin first by selecting today's date, which is the 7th of January. Then we hit create. And then I'm just going to type in test and a mood. Hit submit and we can see the YAML properties have appeared here. Also got the three inputs entered down here and our overall mood here. If you want the properties collapsed by default in the free starter kit, you'll need to download a CSS snippet from my Ko-Fi in order to do that. So this is optional, but you can come back into the settings, go down to quick add and add a new daily note template choice. And you just need to select the cogwheel, select your modal form daily note journal template, turn on file name format, then put in two curly brackets followed by date, which will be day, month, year, which is what I like to do. Then you want to create it in a folder. If you're using the starter or the free kit, just put it in the journal daily journals folder, hit add to save and then tick open. Now you have a quick add command. And if you come into your hotkeys and type in quick add, I like to use the control Q for running quick add. So you can test that by hitting control Q, new daily note, and just put in your data. And now we have our quick add command to get our daily note into our vault. This concludes my exploration of upgrading my daily note template. I'm already finding it easier to maintain a consistent journal habit with the help of a modal form. I'm excited to see how this impacts my journaling throughout the year. If you found this video helpful, please share it with a fellow Obsidian user who might benefit. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.